minutes and then we're leaving. I'm gonna go upstairs and see what the story is. Let's go. Why don't you make an example and go downstairs? Let's go. So when's the last time you saw Ashley? Just in West Palm, but before that it was like months. Wow. It's weird because each time I see him, his hair looks different. Or his, like, his clothes are different. But it's like a like, like, culture shock. Every time you oh. see him, something's different, right? Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> weird. Well, welcome to the big world. Are they late? Yes. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Let me set a good example. I'll walk right. I'm excited. Like, I've never been to an autograph signing. All right, there's no need to congregate in the living room. We can just keep the momentum going and roll right out. Come on, guys, let's, let's just roll right out the door. Dan! Andrew, I guess I'll get some business. All the little and what seem to be insignificant things that we do, like the record signings, the small shows, um, they're all to create a little buzz. What up, man? How you doing? I feel bad because I think Shelly doesn't feel like she's a part of what's going on and feels like she doesn't really fit in. Do you have a girlfriend? Do you have a girlfriend? Hi. 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 The more that Shelly does come out and see how crazy things get, I think the more left out she does feel. And I don't want to hurt her feelings, but there's nothing I can do. It's like out of my control. We have a big show coming up, and we are going to blow this show up. Let's go. Let's go. not describe the rush that goes through your body when you're about to step on a stage with 20,000 screaming people. I'm all excited about our first big show. It's a very big deal. Shelly's there watching and I threw up. person that everybody like idolizes and people like staring at you and screaming at you and throwing gifts at you and it, the more I see it and like like what you've been going through and it helps me to understand more but it so hurts I'm just so confused. but it's just small stuff like that oh, that you don't understand how confused I am when it comes to you ah <sighs> that's I why just... it doesn't work like with us right now because you can't have that confusion like, you have 
like even today I saw you have so many things that you're doing that that extra confusion there's no room for it like you couldn't even have fit a phone call in to me today sometimes I miss you so much I just want to go back and live one day again like it used to be I just don't want to lose you but it's like if I don't let you go then I'm sacrificing my life for you and you know I would do that so it's like your call now how pathetic is that I just don't I don't I don't know what to do I'm not ready for like a relationship. I'm just not, and I don't, I don't think you are either. And I don't trust myself with you. I don't think I should sleep in the room tonight. I don't want you to go. I'm gonna make a bed on the couch. I just think time is gonna tell. I want her in my life. I just, I don't know how right now. Here. I don't know if there's a point in time where we say goodbye to each other or if there's a point in time where we do decide to be with each other again. It just doesn't feel like the right time. And I think that her heart tells her that too. Next, on Making the Band. As you know, out of nowhere, which is a very aggressive move. Why the hell, or what would provoke them to do something like that? Isn't there someone that has to answer this? Like, if you said, like, hey, have you asked Lou what's going on? Like, I think we should call him. I'll call Lou right now. I'm walking to Transcon's office tomorrow if we had time to do it. Right now we're all heated. This is not a personal thing. This is a business thing. 